Hello and welcome to Offspring Magazine, the podcast. I'm your host, Srinath Ramkumar, with the other hosts of the Offspring Magazine podcast. So let's go around introducing ourselves and maybe first let's start with A and that's Adrian. That would be me. Yeah. So my name is Adrian. I'm a, what is it, a doctoral researcher at the <laughs> Max Planck Institute for cell biology, molecular cell biology and genetics in Dresden. And uh, yeah, that's who I, that's who I am. Could you top to bottom. maybe also slightly elaborate on what episodes you did this season? Uh, so I did more editing than I did actual episodes this season because I edited a lot of Ali's episodes. Okay. But uh, this, ep- I think I was on a couple of the. I was on. A, I was on like the live show. I was on um, episode with Ben from the Nature Podcast. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. That's that's my track record. And then I got a dog, which absolutely destroyed everything <laughs> in my life because puppies take a lot of work. It, take, it turns out. Who would have known? Yeah. <laughs> Certainly not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next, I guess, is Ali. The next A. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Ali. I'm a PhD student also at, sorry, doctoral researcher. I even set you up for Bam. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I'm a doctoral researcher at also at the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics. And there I study pancreas development using pancreas organoids. And last season, um, I did a lot of episodes with Sandra, who unfortunately couldn't join us for the wrap up episode. She has a grown up job now. And we did a lot of uh, um, kind of crossover equal opportunity type episodes. We talked about um, being a parent or a woman in science. We talked about LGBTQ uh, issues in academia. And then I, I did a bit of a different episode on um, cu- uh, subconscious cultural bias that people might experience based on their names. Okay. That, I, I mean, I think these episodes are fairly well received from our audience. Who's next? Hi, everyone. All right, Bia. Again. Ah, okay. right. <laughs> Let me introduce you. Thank you. All right, next up is B. Bea, go on, your, your turn. Thanks, Renath. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Bea, and I'm a doctoral researcher at the Max Planck Institute for Kohlenforschung, and I'm an organic chemist. Um, yeah, so the, the last year, I've done mainly podcasts focused on um, research and the research taking place in science. So we've had different um, scientists on from different institutes in, within the Max Planck Society. So that was really fun to talk to them and try to expose also the research that's taking place within the Max Planck Gesellschaft. And I've also had uh, done a few podcasts with um, CEO of a few companies. So that's also been really interesting to learn about what they're doing. Yeah. So th- these are basically the aging episode, right? It started with the aging episode. Yeah, it started with the aging episode. And then- and then we've also um, had one with the CEO of Higher Stakes, which was on lab-grown meat, yeah. one on Spiro yeah. Chem, which is a mainly a chemistry-based episode. Um, and then we also had yeah. a really good one on stress with Matthias Schmidt from the Max yeah. Planck Institute yeah. of uh, Psychiatry in Munich. Uh, also the algae one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've also done one on the use of microalgae and bioplastics. Yeah. Very relatable topic right now. Yeah. Those are very, very topics. And I and these episodes are also very well received. And you forgot the most I important I did. Ones. I just came up with that. We had Ben List on, which is the Nobel Prize winner in chemistry this year. Uh, that one was actually recorded in person. So the video is available, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Anyway, next up is a new host. And it's Emanuela. Come on, Emma, introduce yourself. Hi, hello everyone. So I I got like a very nice welcome from Srinath and I'm looking forward to start with this amazing team of recording podcasts that have been doing like so well in this past season. Like we, they had like unbelievable hosts. I hope you all check them out, like the episodes. And um, I'm really looking forward to start and try to do as good 
in the next season. I am a doctoral researcher, as <laughs> just said, at the MPI for chemical energy conversion in uh, Mandarur, in the same city where Beatrice is working. And uh, I'm also a chemist, like, uh, and I study catalysis in particular. And we'll see. I'm looking forward to start this new experience and uh, we'll hope I'm sure we'll really enjoy that. Definitely. And good luck for the next season. Speaking of next season, the letter N comes up and that's Nico. That was a <laughs> great <laughs> segue, wasn't it? Not even Perfect. Linus from Linus Tech Tips does segues like this. Like, you know. Oh, uh, I don't know if you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I guess it's debatable, but... All right, so yeah, I'm I'm Nico. I'm at the Max Planck Institute for Neurobiology now in my fifth year. Also an N Institute. Also an N Institute, I guess. And uh, yeah, I actually had to look up because I have to admit I was like leaving it to the other people to do uh, the last half year. I think of the podcast, I was not really involved at all, and I was really great, happy that it was running as well as it did. And I think in the beginning of the year, I was more involved with some episodes on open science. Like we had the, um, the ERC head of the, sorry, well, of course, the ERC interview. But I was more talking about the episode with um, Stephen Curry from Dora, yeah. which I found quite interesting just because research assessment is just, yeah, it's always on my mind. So uh, it was really nice to talk to him about this. And yeah, so I have to admit, next season I probably won't be doing many episodes, as I need to write my thesis and so on. But maybe you'll hear me like once or twice more. Yeah, for sure. Next up, Renee. Hi, I'm Renee. Uh, also a doctoral researcher. Um, also at the Max Planck uh, Institute for Neurobiology, which is soon to be biology biological intelligence in 2022, which is very soon. Oh, really? Um, I study neurotransmitter receptors in the fruit fly. And um, yeah, I'm going to be a host uh, for the next season and looking forward to it. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I guess. And last but not least, Rina, did you say introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm just introducing myself. But the problem is somehow there's nobody w starting with the letter t u v w x y or z so it's always s coming at the end for some reason how many hosts do you want oh well if we want to expand to a multi-level operating uh, machine that we want yeah, to I, I would recruit you but your name starts with an s i'm sorry we've already got an s anyway this is, this is a break yeah so i think everybody knows me done enough things for this podcast i guess in the past i'm srinath and i've been your host for the past two years for many episodes and and yeah so yeah i mean this year we did we had quite a few interesting episodes as well so i think i was co-hosting probably a few episodes and we uh, we had of course the neil tyson one that was a good catch i guess yeah that was interesting anyway so uh, basically with this episode like the idea that we had was to just do a short recap of maybe just you know trying to understand how we got some of the guests that we did just to, you know like see where like you know what what was the reason why we contacted some of the guests that we did and also what we're looking forward to in the next season so perhaps let's start with one of the interesting uh, uh like one of the few interesting guests that we had like from the equal opportunity uh, side. So Ali, what was the reason for contacting the people that you did and, you know, can you maybe unmute yourself and... Um, so the way we contacted guests was often like pretty organic and, and I use we really generously because um, I'm gonna really miss Sandra next season because she was honestly the person who was contacting most of the guests. Like, as as a team, she like we would come up with an idea together. She would contact the guests, and we would record together, and then I would do the editing. And so it was a really nice team. But the way she usually found the guests was Sandra's really active on Twitter, and so she would find interesting people 
on Twitter and just send them a message and they would say, yes, she would, some people, she would see interesting videos of them giving lectures on YouTube and think, wow, I want to talk more to them. But also, like I said, like just through the grapevine, we would have an idea for an episode. We would start saying to our colleagues, our friends, hey, we have this idea. Like, do you, can you think of anyone who, who could do that? And we would just get names and she would email them like she was such a champion emailing people all the time. And like we got really great guests that way. So uh, I'm going to have to step up this season. <laughs> all right. But I mean, the, the, the idea of contacting people in that sort of, you know, space of careers, let's say, you know, for like for women in science, as well as trying to identify uh, opportunities Uh, for people who, you know, underwent discrimination when they were applying for, let's say, jobs, right? So, I mean, th these are very interesting topics, and I think they're very relevant to a lot of PhDs. And, like, we, of course, have an equal opportunity working group. And I think, Renee, you were also a part of this working group? Yeah, I'm pretty active in the EO group. I think Allison is, too. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can join forces, keep the EO podcast going. Yeah, totally. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's quite interesting and I'm, I'm hoping for a lot more, uh, you know, fruitful discussions coming up from this direction as well for the next season. Uh, maybe let's move on to uh, Bea to talk about how you wanted to contact some of the people that you, I mean, uh, except for the Matthias Schmidt one. Can you maybe explain why you contact, re reached out to the the uh, for the guy from Spirochem, the guy from the microalgae, and all those people? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, um, I chose these people mainly because they're also topics and people that interest me. And I think doing a podcast on a topic that interests you is gives you the best outcome. But I also thought that all these topics would be interesting for the wider audience and also maybe topics that they haven't been engaged in as often. And they're all topics that I think people should be discussing more and should be talking about more. So that's why I chose to, um, to for example, talk to Jean-Franc uh, Sassi on the use of micro um, algae in bioplastics. Um, yes, Birochem was mainly also for the chemists. I think it's a brand new company. So it was interesting also to hear their journey and how they got started, which is also relevant to a lot of doctoral researchers that are maybe looking to into starting a new business. Um, and I mean, like Ali already said, in the end, you just have to email a bunch of people, keep on emailing your, uh, your hosts, uh, your guests, if they don't reply and hope for the best. Yeah. I mean, speaking of hoping for the best, you are basically already doing interviews for season three. And I don't want to spill the beans on some, you know, a secretive topic, but we're, we're, we're already preparing for season three. And maybe you want to uh, just give a small teaser to what you're what type of people you're contacting and what these episodes are going to be about. Sure. So I actually just recorded uh, yesterday a podcast that come out in season three, maybe even the first one. We'll see. Um, and that was actually at the Max Planck Institute for Metabolism Research, where I talked to Professor Brunning on m metabolism, obesity, and diabetes. So, I mean, currently we're basically living in an obesity epidemic. And so I think it's also very important to understand the science behind it and actually the mechanisms that are going on within our body and why and how we can cure or prevent diabetes or maybe even reverse it. So um, that one's coming up soon and the good thing is that one was also recorded face to face in person so it will be available with video let's hope that in the next season we can continue recording some face to face podcasts um but we'll see how the situation goes and then yeah i mean my plan would be to continue uh, talking to different researchers within the max Planck society that's really my main focus of uh of the next for the next season Yeah, that sounds good. And good luck with the upcoming episodes Thanks. as well. Uh, Emma, you have a few episodes planned or you want to you want to interview a few people? So um, there's the idea there. And like we I would not like spoil too much, like a tiny little teaser I could try to give is that like the, the thing is still like in, in the process of uh, of uh, trying to figure out how it works, because like it's uh, freshman and 
still in the process of learning, but the idea would be still to focus on research, for sure, like uh, research and uh, science topics in general that are of general interest, I would say. Especially like my, my interest is uh, towards uh, energy and, uh, and a few other related topics, mobility and transportation also is something I consider quite interesting and it's uh, very important for the future. So I, we will see if I manage to uh, set up something on that direction and I hope I'll be able to with the help of some very well experienced people that we have in the team like Nico, Srina, Fdea and all the others so we'll see we'll see what what will come out in season three sounds good yeah and good luck for contacting and getting the interviews done uh renee you have any ideas of what type of episodes that you want to do in the upcoming season yeah i have a pretty vague idea of what episodes um I also would like to focus on science because we're all scientists here. Um, but I would also like to focus on science from um, people of diverse backgrounds. Um, so, yeah, that's um, and I think interviewing people from all over. I would like to have a more um, sort of like international view on what's happening in various countries that are not always represented in science uh, on the big stage, but do amazing science. So, yeah. I mean, uh, speaking about this topic, actually, a friend of mine from my institute, he came up to me and said, hey, how come you never invited me to be on your podcast? And he was a professor in Brazil and he left the job to come to Germany to join as a postdoc. So he had a permanent professorship in Brazil and he left that to come to Germany. And now he works in the bioinformatics team of my institute. So maybe he would be an interesting candidate. If you're interested, I could, I could put you in touch and uh, oh, that would be something cool. But anyway... Adrian, now, speaking about uh, our yeah. peer, re peer review debate, which never happened, uh, which we wanted to happen. The, long, the long-standing plan, which I torpedoed through my inaction. Uh, right. Yeah, I mean, I want to get it done. I just yeah. got to get the time together. And now, I mean, thankfully, things are stabilizing a little bit more. So, I mean, I did the research. I did work and, like, putting together guests and stuff. I just never actually got the host together. I mean, the basic idea is still just a debate on systems of peer review, what are their benefits, what are their disadvantages, and how can we kind of think of altering um, these systems to improve access, reliability, you know, what are we going to lose, that kind of stuff, because it's a part of science that I think people don't evaluate enough. It's kind of the he, just needs a sec he just needs a secretary to send the emails for him. I mean, I'm taking, I, I, mean, the I can offer zero salary and no benefits if anyone's interested. <laughs> <laughs> the banter is unbearable, but yeah. The, ba the banter is real. The podcast is not yet. So. <laughs> I, apologize. I mean, you do have a puppy, right? You could offer pets. Got a puppy. I can offer pets. Right? Like... Come to Dresden. Pet pets pets for podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Look, pet cuddling is already a business somewhere, you know, it's just saying. And like, cat cafe, and two cats. you know. We have and two, two cats. cats. Too. Puppy cafe, you see? Like, you already oh, have your. Well, puppy cafe yeah. would just be full of pee. That's what I've learned. <laughs> no! <laughs> the puppy cafe would just have pee everywhere. It's <laughs> the reason that they're cat cafes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah, but that's, that's still the idea. All right. So I think. That's pretty much it. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, Nico, you want to say something? Do you have any like final words of the season? Like, you you asking for me? No. Yes. Oh no, no, no I'm, I have to admit, I I really like it how the the podcast is developing, becoming more act, like proper like not proper, but like you know actually communicating science and not so before it was more uh, like, like around science, com. like yeah, exactly. And now it's uh, actual science communication. And I think it, that's really nice. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I really like the direction in which we're heading. And I hope, I mean, again, like I wouldn't be really involved next season because again, same as Nico, I need to finish writing the thesis and, you know, <laughs> finish this PhD somehow. But based on what I'm hearing already, and it's quite, it's, it's quite nice to see that there is, uh, oh, what do you call it, a, a good scope into which we can sort of carve our niche and try to identify basically 
topics of interest. I mean, uh, I think w- what I should also say based on uh, the listening stats is that episodes to do with discussing science usually tend to do quite a bit better than episodes which are about meta science communication topics. So I think that's quite interesting as well. So people are really interested to hear what scientists and what researchers are doing and what you know researchers are planning to do. So I guess this is a good direction. I mean, it's, it's of course our interest driving the listenership as well, but it's also listenership driving our interest in some way, but let's not, let's not push it too far. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all I have from my end. And if anybody else has anything to add, please feel free to add. Awkward silence it is. I like it. <laughs> you've, you've said it all. Yeah. Mm. All right. So I think without any further ado, I would let you all, you know, have your Saturdays back. And for the listeners, we are recording this on a Saturday afternoon, which is the prime time to go shopping. But, you know. Uh, also a Saturday morning. Yeah. Sat- uh, sorry. Also a really early Saturday morning. Yeah, really early. Like, what is it? Oh, Six, yeah, 630 crazy. for you, Renee? Yeah. yeah so 645 or something. Yeah. Ooh. So whoa. Alpine start. Yeah, as you can see, someone, <laughs> someone in dream is really motivated. Someone we have really motivated people, as you can see. Yeah, as you can. You'll be the first on the ski hill now. That's true. <laughs> All right. So thanks a lot to everyone for joining today, and and again on such short notice, and hope to have a great season ahead. And until then, we're taking a break. Season two is over. Enjoy. And if you have missed some episodes, just go back and listen to them. You know, they're available all the time. And if you don't want to listen, you want to watch some episodes, they are also available on video. Some episodes are on video, including this one. Just put them on loop. Just put them on yeah, loop. You know? on get loop. Those, yeah. get that, Fall asleep that to it. Yeah. It's a great meditation. I mean, Shrina keeps pitching ASMR. You guys don't know this, but he keeps pitching ASMR to us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can feel my yeah. Table. I hope the spine tingles. I I, I spilled whatever was in that cover, so I need to clean that up. <laughs> you you got to get the omnidirectional sound so you can be like, "Hello." I hello, do. Hello. I have hello. one of those uh, kits, right? So the lapel mic has oh, an o- omnidirectional go. pickup pattern. So she do that. He's too. ready for ASMR. Season three is all ASMR. Science <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not sure how it will no, end up. The, the, our definition of ASMR is different. It's as some might research. So there you go. It's. Oh my it, god. It's new. I think that's a good way to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So with that, we end this episode, and we hope you enjoyed the banter. And if not, uh, blame Adrian. It's fine. <laughs> or or blame fun. the puppy. We mostly blame the puppy. That sounds good. All right. (laughs) This episode was not harmed. Oh, sorry. No animals were harmed in the making of this episode. I want to just clarify (laughs) that. (laughs) I I completely misspoke that line. But anyway. All right. See you all. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B